Today we've got some basic maintenance to do on the tractor and while we're doing that we're going to talk about VT SCADA multi-server systems and how you can do basic maintenance and upgrades on those systems with confidence taking servers offline and bringing them back online without causing your system to go down. Let's get started. So work on the tractor starts with checking the fluids. And to do that, the first thing we'll do is pop the hood and just take a quick look inside. Um, I can also see a little bit of coolant leak down below here. So while we're working on the tractor, let's go over a few of the things in VT SCADA that we would find helpful if we're looking to maintain a multi-server environment. Now the first thing, before we get started, if you haven't watched the video that Chris Little did on upgrading your SCADA system, be sure to give that a watch. If it's not appearing above me here somewhere, then I'll be sure to link it down below in the description. And once you've seen that, then you should have a really good understanding of a lot of the things that I'm going to be talking about and how to perform those. So in VT SCADA, we're gonna go over to the services page and on that page, the first thing we're going to do is to jump over to the second tab. And that's going to show us all of the different services we have running. Now, in the application I'm showing you this from, you can see that we actually um, have a backup server and another backup server for each of our VT SCADA services. And so that's all set up for automatic failover. But one of the things you'll notice is that the secondary backup server is offline. That computer is not available. And I just put that in there to show you what you would see if the computer was completely offline. So this is showing you basically all of those services from all of your different drivers and which that will fail over to. Now, if you notice one of those services isn't actually showing that it will fail over, and that's because it's a workstation tag, which is attached to only one of the computers. So that one wouldn't actually fail over for you. Um, but it's okay because it would be showing you the wrong information if it did. So next up, what we'll do is go back one section, back to the previous tab. And then in here, this is where we can actually look at what servers are running which services. And let's go up to the top here and we can actually click and we can force that failover. So without shutting down our application, we can force the failover and with this computer running, we'll be able to check and see if it is actually successfully working as a client to all of the services and if the services have successfully failed over. There was a problem. Uh, we see that one of the drivers didn't actually fail over correctly. It jumped right back to our server as being the, uh, the required server for that driver to function. So we'll jump into that and it looks like that IP address for that driver it can't actually reach its destination from the other computer. So it's good that we were able to fix that problem because had we just shut our system down, we wouldn't have been able to recover as quickly when we realized that driver isn't actually receiving data. Now that our services are failed over correctly, we've got a lot more confidence that we can shut down our VT SCADA system without losing any data or without uh, stopping our system in any way. So next up, we're gonna look at what else we can do on the server. So a big thing is it's a great time now to do a check for updates. You might have to do a restart of the server, something like that, and you know it's not gonna be a big deal. Around. I'm getting the camera up underneath here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but you can see right where that coolant is leaking. So, and we're making a little bit of a mess in the driveway here. So we just pull this out. We'll be able to check 
the level of the hydraulic fluid. So if you look here, you can see on the back of the stick that it's a little bit low. That, this stuff smells nasty. Okay, so a little bit more work to do. Uh, we will have to follow up on that coolant leak, but when it comes to VT SCADA, I think the services page is a major game changer regarding how much confidence you can come into any kind of server maintenance with. Being able to fail over those servers with a single click, see exactly what's happening, and then have confidence that you can take your application offline do whatever work you need to do without missing a beat in terms of your data capture, historian, alarms, events, all of this um, is really, really nice to see. And so I think, I hope that you can take these tools, apply them to your system and maintain your system with confidence, knowing that you aren't taking any risks when you're shutting down that system and that you can get it back online easily. So if you would like to learn a little bit more about VT SCADA, please check out VT Skate Lite or go to the VT Skate Academy where you can learn to use the product yourself for free in an online environment. I'm Dave Spencer. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a great day.